Well, hello, a very good evening to you. How are you? This is Hochanda. I'm still here. Hey! <laughs> How many hours has it been? Uh, but you know what? It's actually nice to be to be doing something and to getting creative. I've come up with a new word, creative. I'm going to start a new company, Creative Limited. Um, getting creative and don't steal it, anybody. Quick, go and register it, creative. Um, we have got our one day special now. It is launching officially because the last one has just entered its last few moments. And now it's time to give you a great deal for another 24 hours. We're already busy. I'm not going to take any credit for that whatsoever. I think it's all because it's the lovely abs who is bringing you a another great collection from Arlen Create. Now, don't worry, you're not going to have to listen to me rabbling on or doing any kind of demonstrations. Fair play to our Janice today. She did a live Facebook, didn't she? She got crafty. Brilliant. We're going to leave you in the very capable hands of our Miss Leona. Leona, do you want to come in? And we shall make sure we keep our <coughs> social distancing. Social distance. Social distance. Social distance. You go right. that way, I'll go that way. Bye. Oh, I'm doing the same kind of shuffle. <laughs> Oh, shuffle quick a little. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. It's like we're on an invisible, invisible thread. We're always on an invisible Isn't thread, it? Kev. Our Kev. Our Kev. Me and our Kev. Me and our Kev. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Let's clear the throat because we are very busy. I'm so pleased. Uh, this is Tracy's brand new collection. Tracy, thank you very much. I know you're watching. Um, you stay safe, my lovely lady. Um, she's a clever bunny, isn't she? Now, she has designed these gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. Obviously brought to us from All and Create, of course. Uh, the wonderful All and Create. I love this company. So, what you have got, first of all, you've got, and I will whip these round for you because look at the size of these. Uh, you have got two humongous stamps. These are gorgeous. You know what? I remember when we first brought All and Create to your screens, and it was people didn't really get the bigger stamps and all this gorgeousness that they put on them. You know, all these layers, but now, Oh my gosh, we're all loving them, aren't we? We're all getting this. What I love about Trace, oh, I, I love Trace's work. 10% of the stock has gone. I love Trace's work because she gives us so much. But what you've got on this one, and Trace says, you know, each stamp she designs, it has to work for her. She has to be able to get so many different projects out of one stamp. You look at these two, and you can see it straight away, can't you? It's got a background already, and it's got beautiful snippability potential. You're able to learn. Layer. I mean, as soon as you look at them, your imagination just pops. Now, that's your first two massive stamps, but it's not just that in this bundle. You've also got this little collection. Now, look at these, how ridiculously cute. I love these kind of scribbly stamps. Thing is, you'll probably already get uh, got um, stamps from Tracy's collection that'll match these perfectly. I love the little birdies. Let me just twist that the right way around. Look how cute they are. Oh, so you can do a border of birdies. How cute is that? Really cute. Uh, you've got some lovely little words on here as well. You've got happiness, birthdays. Uh, you've got bird. You've got art. Um, art, even, not art. Um, uh, and limited edition, which our Tracy most definitely is. Um, and a, a special, she most certainly is. Um, and then you've got that beautiful stamp with the postmark, but also that wonderful sort of grid work in the background. Okay. This is so busy. That one's already sold out individually. Um, you can get the other two individually at the moment, but when you look at your price, you're going to be saving eight pounds. It is your one day special. You get the full bundle. If you're part of our Hachanda Freedom, you're not paying any postage. It's definitely the way to shop. Uh, we're approaching 20% of the stock. Tracy, how chuffed are you? If Tracy were here now, she'd be like, oh, wow, thank you, thank you, won't she? She'd be so chuffed. Uh, so I'll do that. Thank you very much indeed. And I'm so pleased. I know Tracy's running a Facebook Live tonight. I'm sure it's 7 o'clock after this hour, so make sure you tune into that. I'm nearly positive. I mean, 98%, I hope. <laughs> but you never know. There's me and that 2%. You know what I'm like. Might have been last night. No, I'm pretty sure it's tonight. Oh, I hope I'm right. Anyway, she's emailed. Am I right? Tracy, am I right? Hey up, lass. Um, this is what, sorry, Tracy's emailed. Hiya, Tracy. She says, hey up. <laughs> oh, she says, a massive thank you for doing the show, Tracy. It is my pleasure. Are you having a laugh? I get to play with your new stamps, love, it's great. <laughs> uh, but we always miss having you. Then it's, I've not, can you believe? Me and you haven't had a show yet together, have we, Tracy? 
I'm sure we haven't. Am I making that up? I'm really sure I haven't had a show. Anyway. Yes, I am right. Tonight at 7 o'clock, Tracy is doing a Facebook Live using a brand new stamp. So make sure you look out for that. Okay, 20% of the stock has gone. I'm going to show you some examples because the team are amazing. Yeah, isn't that just beautiful? I love what Janet's done here. I love that she's cut the flowers so it looks like a couple of the little flower heads have uh, fallen off. She's lifted some of the words from another stamp set and put them behind. I love how much colour she's used, yet your main images pop. Absolutely sensational. I love this one though. Look at that. See now, oh, lovely Corey's done this. And that is just gorgeous. The colour palette on that is sensational. So, so pretty. And look, you can tell she's done that one as well. Isn't that pretty? I love looking at the samples because they're all so different. You know, they're all so unique. I love that. Highlighting those flowers. They're actually cut out. So stamping on a beautiful, busy background, then cutting those flowers out to give you that gorgeous look. Now look at this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Stamp um, on black cardstock, stamped and embossed, white embossing powder, and then fussy cut that out, overlay it. That, that is an, it's actually really easy design, but how effective does that look? Stunning, absolutely stunning. Using glossy accents or similar, over the top there to give that look. Um, sorry, Chloe, could you get me water from there, please, my love? Now, a quarter of the stock has gone, sorry, um, two payments um, of, bear with, bear with, two payments, £17.49. It is busy. Please check your baskets out. It is busy. Tracy's collection sell out time after time after time. Is this going to be another? Now, check the website out. Um, that's where you're going to see all the other stamps that we've got on the show and we've got a lot of lovely lovely stamps so please have a little look we've got some gorgeous new bundles on there um obviously everything available uh, for you on flexi if you're getting your one day special and you uh, pop those into that flexi basket don't miss out on anything as i said it does get really really busy well you look at pictures i'm just going to get a little drink of water I'm back. <laughs> we are approaching 30% of the stock. Hey, Tracy, look, I clean my brayer just for you. <laughs> I know, right? Look, look. Clean. Oh, oh lovely Tracy. She says she's so humble. Thank you, everybody. Tracy, um, they love your work, my darling. And do you know what? She's a very busy lady. We were meant to be going, weren't we, Tracy? Me, Tracy and Abs were meant to be going to Paris. Is it April this month? But we had to cancel. But are we not in April yet? We're so close. I, I don't know where I am. Well, I do. I'm here at Achandra. I've not gone anywhere else recently. <laughs> and I'm happy with that. I, I do apologise if you're a little bit sick at sides of me. Obviously, I have been picking up a few shows, you know, just to help out and stuff. So, um, I mean, it's quite fabulous because the team have let me keep this corner. So it, may, it means I've had to tidy up. It also means that that over there is looking busy. <laughs> busy okay 30% of the stock has gone I'll stop talking and let's get playing so um, I'm starting off with a nice white blank piece of paper and um, this is from um, Pink Frog um, and it's actually the the stamping card the smooth card that I'm going to be using I'm actually picking first of all <coughs> the lovely daisies um, so these are the ones I'm going to be using. They are beautiful stamps. They're beautiful. Um, lovely quality. I mean, it's one of those, you know, you just want to play. You just want to experiment. Okay, let's pop this here. Now, I have noticed with my stamping platform, there's a, a sweet spot that ain't that sweet in the centre. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually put another bit of card just to lift this a little bit. Because I've noticed that I'm not... Um, I've left my other one at home, which is rather annoying. Right, okay, so here we go. So I'm going to use um, <coughs> First Fine Claire. 
over the top first of all um, and hopefully this one isn't running out um, I have used them rather a lot but the stamping platform if I need to re-ink it and do it another do another print I absolutely can do now <clears throat> this is beautiful because there's so many layers there's so much going on here we're already at a third of the stock now gone it is so busy so busy i'm so pleased and so pleased because tracy's just lovely and she's so ridiculously talented i love watching tracy work it's fabulous okay so putting the pressure down and then lifting off now can you see my sweet spot on my stamping platform honestly it's nearly every time um, i put this in the corner so i can do it again and let me just move that and what i will do is because i know where the sweet spot is Rather than the full thing lifting, I'll just pop a little bit of card under that bit. It's always the centre. It's like um, it's like I don't manage to get enough pressure in that central plate, which is quite frustrating. It's the ink's still there, but just put a bit of ink on there. <coughs> crock, crock, crock. I do apologise. Shoopy throat. It's only as soon as I go live. Oh, rest of time, I can chat like a good one. There we go. Ain't that gorgeous? I'm still not, I'm being fussy. I'm being fussy, but that's okay. It's just that central panel. I think it's because you can't put as much pressure there. Unless it's me. Okay, beautiful. Well happy with that. Look how much detail there is. You've got the beautiful flowers. You've got all this gorgeous writing. So it looks like the gorgeous flowers. And that looks like um, a postcard, doesn't it? That's, um, that's got the flowers printed over the top. I like the extra detail like these here. I think they're fabulous. See, there's a lot you can pull out of the image. In fact, those extra little squares, I am going to pull those out because I actually, <clears throat> oh, my throat really irritates me. Right, let me just, there. I'm going to stamp those separate. And I love this. I love that you've got so many tiny little elements that you can pull out. You know, tiny little elements um, that you can use in so many different ways. Okay, so just bob my stamp to one side for a second. And then what I'm going to do, so happy with this one. That's my first layer. Okay, absolutely perfect. I'm going to cut that down because I know that's going to be um, a layer. So I might be putting this in an art journal. I think I'll put it in an art journal. The things I'm making, you could easily make into a card. But I do think it'd look quite fabulous as an art journal. Oh my good grief. We're approaching 40% of the stock. We are only in to the show by 12. Is that 12 minutes? And we're approaching 40%. Do not miss out on these they are fabulous um we don't know if we can get any more we don't know i mean um abs if you're watching i don't know but anyway that's not for me let's just craft kid i'm scratching the end because i want some texture on that end i might do the other end in a minute i'll play that by here look i've been prepping they can't sell out because look i've actually prepped and cut some things out <laughs> I'd be well gutted if I can't use them for rest at shorts tomorrow. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I've been playing already, as you can see. Um, this is a pad. It's kind of like acetate. Um, we used to, I don't know if we've any, got it anymore on the show, but we used to sell these, the Duralar, um, and they're beautiful to work with. So what I'm doing, it, it is like an acetate, effect, effectively. Um, you can use all your, you know, your permanent uh, pens and your, your um, all your rinks on it what I'm doing however I'm going to get my stencils now we have got these stencils on the show you can see I've already started using them so we've already got these on the show um, if you want to get hold of these absolutely gorgeous there's a lovely little bundle um, you are getting seven of the stencils on here um, for £48.93 and, and they're really not look at them these are cool stencils. Um, the circle one is one of my favourite favourites ever. In fact, I should have picked that one up. I've got that one in my box. Um, there's some, are they the, are they the stencils or are they the stamps? Of? No, they're the stamps. Oh, I did, as I was thinking, I was thinking, I'm sure I didn't see the stencils. Yeah, the stencils, it's actually a set of four. But I am going to be using the stamps as well, hopefully. So, yay, they're the ones. £19.96 for your stencils. 
absolutely gorgeous and it is a really good price don't miss out on these they're well nice so what i'm going to do is first of all let's build up some color so i'm going to take the blue now i'm working on this one this one is my my scrap palette if you will it is clear but you can see under and under and under because obviously it's clear so i'm going to use a bit of blue as i'm we're over 40 percent oh my good grief okay be quickly on it so what I'm doing is, I'm going to put my stencil down. This is going to be an overlay, effectively. So you could work, if you wanted to, you could work with this underneath to see where you're going. Let's do that. Okay, so this is going to be an overlay over the top. Overlay. Um, I'm going to take my, my ink now. These are my fluid um, acrylics. I absolutely adore these. They are the Finibear range. So taking my fluid acrylics and just sponging through my uh, my stencil your fluid acrylics are gorgeous for this because they're the kind of a, a translucent so it allows you to layer on top but obviously you can see underneath it i'm picking paint up off this side because that will work as a background as well um, i'm sponging the paint on because i want it to be nice and soft and i want to be able to to pull that paint out it's an acrylic, so it will absolutely dry on this background. And I just love the patterns that you can create with this. So going in with the blue, I haven't picked any more up there. Just working with the stuff off the stencil, like so. There we go. And then pull some down here as well. I don't want it covered. I just want sort of patches of colour because I really like that. Move on. So that's the blue. I mean, you can always see on the scrap side, you can always see if any will come off. And if it will, you'll have an extra print. It does dry pretty quick because they are fluid acrylics. Take my next stencil. Remember, all the stencils available. So I'll take my next one. With this one, I'm now going to go in with yellow. And oh, never lose these because they're well nice. You can use the tops. Yeah, they're well good. The skins, because you can create skins and everything. So popping the yellow on there. This is such a good yellow because it looks like mustard. With your um, with your, uh, your sponges, I am actually going to be really, really good and squeeze that out while the paint's still dry, uh, wet. <laughs> if you wait till it's dry, then obviously it's going to go solid on your sponge. Um, next, I'm going to pick up the yellow. The yellow at first looks just like solid mustard, but when you actually pick it up, it's lovely. And then start to work this over the top. I love it when it ma meets the blue because of you're going to mix it so you're going to get those gorgeous greens see look at that already that color just looks divine the stencils are brilliant because you're just layering 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 and it is nice to be able to see your image underneath because you can kind of see where you're aiming and you can see where you want to take that color you know because i'm i'm liking just building up those layers so i'm bringing the color so it just comes down here as well. I like that. So it just adds that sort of block of colour, which I, I did like. Again, take the stencil onto the scrap. See if you can get any paint off it. If you can, amazing. If you can't, not a big deal. So I do like the colours that start um, occurring on the stencil. Take my sponge, wash the sponge. Aren't I being sensible? I know, I don't know what's happened to me. Actually, I've cleaned my space. Well, I know I don't look like I have, but I have. <laughs> I mean, you look at this glass, mate, it's like, that's absolute lies, Leona. Lies. I've, I was going to say I've cleaned it more than I normally do. That's not a lie. <laughs> um, okay. So now taking this. Now the flower, this is another stencil. Um, yeah, these are just amazing. You might have seen them before. If you're brand new, maybe you've just found us. You'd think I had no experience, wouldn't you? I mean, I mean, it's like I've been doing this job for years. I've been doing this job more than any other job, and yet I still quite can't quite get them. Um, if you do want these stencils, these are sensational. These are big 
stencils absolutely stunning uh, you're getting all four designs for 32 36 if you're a Hachanda freedom member and obviously with something like this um stunning 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 loads of ways you can use them so i want to i'm putting it here because that's where i want my my sort of main image to absolutely pop and i love this because this just it'll that highlight it looks fantastic i'm going in i've got my red so again peel that off because that is cool put it over there and the red i'll put over here see this i love the palette this is just your scraps but you start you know you, you think about everything don't you that's my, my scrap palette but i'm using it look at that color how divine is that and through the stencil that just works an absolute treat so just allowing that just brush it out so sponge it on and then brush it out so it goes up the actual stems of the the petals sorry of the actual flower and it looks lovely on the stencil you know i mean it, it the stencil almost looks decorative itself just because of that color absolutely love that color so again just working that up the flower like so i love it when it hits the other colors some of them are dry as well and that's the other thing i mean look at the blue it hasn't shifted you know even though we're we're layering over the top of it you've still got those coming out doesn't that look good okay so that's our layers first of all clean the sponge again like so so what i'm gonna do with this one now all i'm gonna do with this one there we are so take that move that to one side boom right happy with that i know that's what i want to do the interesting bit if you wanted to look if you wanted to bring this over the top that's your palette that you've been using how cool would that look you know that's the lovely thing about this you could easily bring that in as well you could create layers and layers if you're putting this in a journal i mean you could literally have a, a little page so you could lift those layers as well which would look fabulous but i, I really like using your acetates like this because it adds such visual interest to it anyway stick to that for now even though now i'm tempted to use that as well i'm going to pull this out of here like so okay your one day special is now approaching half of the stock if you want to get hold of this we're not even halfway through the show you need to check your baskets out it is very very busy indeed it's beautiful tracy has done yet another amazing job um and uh, yeah it's one of those it is so usable so usable okay i'm gonna trim this down so i've popped a little um a little nick where it needs to be trimmed like so and i, I am going to use this because i can't not because i just adore that so just deciding where that's going to go i love this now the reason i did this i was a little bit obsessed with stamping on acetate but the truth is i, have, I keep leaving my stays on because i do workshops down south well uh, we'll do eventually again but because i use my them down south um all my stays on to down south so i haven't got any stays on so it was like right what can i use um and that's why i came up with this technique right that's where i'm going but i want to lift these again so what i've done is fussy cut that out so i am going to put that back in situ and then that will allow it to pop you could put both of them in if you wanted to but i actually like just having the one in situ you could if you wanted to i mean you don't need to have it lined up exactly or if you wanted to you could take the bottle out and just have the little flower do you see what i mean so that looks quite pretty as well in fact because i'm not using that one let me show you what it looks like so you could if you wanted to see just bring that one in which i really like as well because it just lifts that one uh, but but it is going to be this one that i actually bring in now this is lovely because even though i'm layering that at an angle so you're getting that angle i quite like that i quite like those angles what you don't want to do though is have that random hair <laughs> that's gone on there okay so i'm happy with that happy with those layers so what i'd suggest you do to cut this out first of all i'm gonna cut down there because i know i know me 
and I know I'll end up cutting it wrong and doing it a bit dodgily. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to cut that back down in a minute. Don't them layers just look fabulous. Now, gluing. So you're best using um, either a glossy accents or a similar. I've got one of the fabulous Pentarch 3D lacquer. Um, now, lacquer, that word, reminds me of what my mum used to use on her hair many moons ago. So what I know I'm going to be doing is putting the flower over there. Because I know that that is safe, that is where I can put, oh, it needs to warm up. <laughs> That's where I can put my 3D. It's okay, I've got my other one. I've got my stamp area. So, I say it's okay. It's okay. So, there we go. I know that's going to be where I can place my glue. Oh, come on. It's okay. I've got wire behind me here. Of course I have. Uh-huh. I brought my room in. Oh, yes. The kitchen sink is just over there, literally. <laughs> the oven's there. I mean, let's face it, if I had to self-isolate in this building, I've already thought about this. If I had to self-isolate in this building, I'd be absolutely sorted. I just need to bring Dave the dog in, but we're not. I won't be doing it. Yeah, 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 we were talking about this, weren't we? It would be fabulous. We've got a shower, washing machine. <laughs> Don't mention the washing machine. Oh dear. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. That was because I was so excited about thinking about being able to use a washing machine. I'll just do this. Doesn't actually matter. I'm faffing about. It doesn't matter. Because you won't be able to see this because it's absolutely it dries clear. So there you go. Phew, good job, huh? So <laughs> um, popping this on here like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that hair. Bear with. Yeah, there's an air. There. There you go. It's okay. Got it. That's going there. Like so that, that I can't swear, Telly. There we go. <laughs> I'm representing Tracy. Don't swear. And then there you go. Oh good grief. That oh my good grief. <laughs> that one's fierce. There we go. That one goes there. Like so. I am loving this. Imagine you could put gilding flakes in there. You could put so many things. I tell you what does work. Um and I were using it the other day. I'm not going to use it on this one. But um, your wax paste. You can actually put wax paste and it'll dry even on the acetate. It's mad. And then look, let's bring this one in. You could 3D it. 3D and it would look absolutely gorgeous, actually. So I might do that. Um, if you 3D it on there, let me just get my 3D glue while you're looking at that. If you 3D it on, obviously, you do want to be colouring this in. I am going to be colouring this in. Um, and I'll use my, my beautiful pencils to do that. So I'm just going to go like this. Now, again, this is such a beautiful image. Um, and it's so usable. You know, that's what I love about Tracy's artwork. Um, it's just, you've got all that gorgeous, gorgeous, um, that sort of detail going on in the background. But it, you can if you wanted to. If you just wanted to use the flowers, you absolutely could do. You know, you could do all sorts. The double, the 3D form I'm using, it's a really nice, it's a thin double-sided form. And I like that because it allows me to fold it over. But it means I can change the depth. So it could be really thin if I wanted to, but I can, I can raise them so I can have different levels, which I love. And then popping that on there, that on there, that on there. So I'm going to colour that in. Um, what I do love about this as well, okay, you can then work over the top of this. So if you wanted to, if you wanted then to bring your stencil back in again, and I'm just going to do this as a for instance, if you use an acrylic paint, but a solid acrylic paint. So what we've got underneath is a fluid acrylic paint. If you then use a solid, so um, more, of a, more of an opaque acrylic over the top, then you'll get a completely different look. Use the same stencil because then you've got the same pattern going on. It'll absolutely dry on that acetate, but look at the layers. See, so you get really interesting layers, all about the layers. So as you bring this in, there we go. So you'll get those gorgeous layers coming through. 
which just give it that added interest which I absolutely love oh I love this and then all I'm gonna do is bring this is one of the little words then I will color this in but I'll do that in a minute that's one of the words from the other set all I do is then glue the limited edition on there as such that then of course needs to go on black and as soon as you put it on black cardstock pop doesn't that quite look f I'm right quite chuffed with that boom I did a I did a card um okay shot by brand um all and create all and create are amazing they brought out so many incredible designs uh through the years if you want to see anything then please check that website out um so many stunning stunning uh, designs from all the different designers that they've got in the team um brilliant prices and if you are managing to get that one day special then it means you're opening up a flexi basket and you have got so many other stamps that you can then choose from. Um, I am going to pass over to our uh, fabulous Rachel in just one second um, to go through all the wonderful collections. We're just trying to rebuild the pack shop because I've stolen the stamps. Rachel, Rachel, <laughs> Kev! <laughs> Thanks, our Kev. Um, what a cracking one day special so far oh my goodness me rapidly rapidly approaching half the stock gone in half an hour of the first hour which is absolutely amazing so great work leona she is a talent isn't she that girl she is an absolute talent uh, yeah I was going to say, it is also, of course, Tracy who has designed these fantastic stamps and Abs who is bringing them to us. I love it how he just works with some of the most amazing designers across the world. You know, so there are people in uh, America, I believe in Australia, and then, of course, in the UK. So they are across the world. And yet somehow, how does he do it? Even though the designers are all very different, everything works together. So when you are buying from any of the All and Create uh, ranges, they seem to be able to work together, which is really very clever. Clever. and he's so talented as well the way that he, uh, he uses color and uses his water uh, colors and his inks and how he sort of multi layers his images and then that spreads across to his designers it's a, I don't know how it works it's a very strange kind of combination but everything comes together so whenever you are buying these wonderful things you can make up your own creations let me just show you some of the things here on the show you've seen Leone working of course uh, but uh, look at that isn't that absolutely fabulous we love love the colours, we love how everything is working together and as I say there's multi layers as well. I do think no matter who designs for All and Create you can spot an All and Create stamp you really can you just know there's just something in it isn't there um, but i love it i love also as well that use of white space in the background uh, you know none of the, none of the images are, uh, are, are too crazy you've always got a kind of focal point and then the layering behind it but look at that isn't that fabulous that wonderful flower popping out and the script behind it there and then when you just use that hint of color on white that's my that's my kind of favorite um, imaging there but absolutely beautiful and you know once you've got the stamps that's the thing it's about having the stamp to start with isn't it and then creating something very special from it. So all the hard work has been done for you and then you can just decide what you want to do it from there. So yeah, birthday wishes. And of course, being florals, useful for all sorts of different occasions. Lovely, look at that. Isn't that nice? That is absolutely beautiful. Well, half the stock has gone. If you want to jump on board, it is 811-501 is your item number. £34.97 is what you will pay uh, instead of that higher price there. Two flexible payments as well. £17.49, your first of two interest-free flexi payments today, which is fantastic. So many of you are going for it. Uh, now, we've got a new collection for you. It's, you may have seen these items before, but we've put them in a different configuration for you. So it's a new bundle. That's what we'd call it. Again, designed by Tracy um, and you can see here how these are coming together as well so you've got little owl there there's a, a great sense of humor I think behind these stamps there so you've got the owl and a real hoot there once again these illustrations I think kind of look they've been like they've been made for a children's book do you know what I mean they're they're really high quality illustrative stamps they really are and I love that how you've just got a kind of character of that owl it's not it doesn't look like an owl but it's a character of an owl and it's really really great fun 
and then you've got the two stamps at the top as well included and once again in terms of backgrounds in terms of that multi-layering in terms of adding interest and dimension to your uh, crafting these are fantastic uh, stamps there so 756204 great freedom price on there as well 22 pounds and 46 pence is what you will pay today if you're not in that club it is 2496 let's move down to another collection again by Tracy and you will have seen these before but we've put them together as a new configuration that we think works really well together now look at this this is fantastic I'm going to turn this one around for you so you can actually see what you are getting there but that is extraordinary if you think about all the elements you can take from there you've got ladybirds you've got grids you've got numbers you don't have to use the whole stamp of course so you can just use certain elements if you want now if you think about what goes with that with ladybirds well you could have whoops <laughs> i am plastic stand this wrong again some lovely flowers there as you can see there with your sentiments wishing you a great birthday and then our final set if we come to that one there i've turned that around so you can see the actual size of the stamps because sometimes they're quite deceiving uh, but look they're dresses and mannequins and once again you know when you look at that mannequin it's not just a mannequin you know there is something within it it's that layering upon layering upon layering because that's what adds interest to your uh, your projects so if you if you look at that collection there there's an awful lot of stamping going on there i mean you know even in the big one it's like you've got i don't know tens of stamps within there isn't it because of all those different images so i think that is like an incredibly versatile and varied collection 413061 your item number 4497 for the lot if you are in the members club today also um Flexi Freedom, so 2249 uh, for that, your first of two payments today. And then let's have a look at our next ones um, again by Tracy. And are they, no, are these by Tracy? I'm saying that. I think they are. Are they, Leonie? Do you know is the whole show? Yes, they are. This is one of my favourite ones this paintbrush. I love, love, love that brush. I did this on a show with Abs recently, and I was saying just from a simple perspective, what I would do is I would just do a long brush stroke against a piece of white card and then stamp the brush at the end of it so it looks like you, you know, the brush has created it. And I think that's just a simple card, and that's the point with Abs stamps. They're so fantastic that if you aren't very confident, if you don't quite know what you're doing, if you're still learning, you can just use the stamp and not a lot else, and you can create a masterpiece. But if you want to really do that layering thing that Abs and Leone are doing, adding layer upon layer, interest upon interest, colour upon colour, mixing, creating, then you can do that with these stamps. Uh, so 157860, your item number, if you would like to get this collection. Again, a great freedom price there, £44.97 pence if you would like to get hold of those. So uh, a lovely collection there. Let's move on to some stencils for you now these are huge stencils again the detail inside them are absolutely incredible this is one of abs best selling st uh, stencils if uh, you can't really see it but look you, you get an idea that you can see it there can't you but these are massive and the thing is with with ones like that is that you could just use the petals you could just use the smiley sort of face in there you could use just the sun elements i mean but this is one of the most popular uh, selling stencils so what we've done is we've put the four together there and given you a great price 35 pounds and 96 pence 652102 is your item number a freedom price as well of 32 pounds and 36 pence so it is definitely a great time to be a freedom member lots of freedom member prices on hochanda at the moment so that's a lovely set of four stencils more stencils for you smaller in size but uh, once again these are the ones that leone has been using in her demonstrations there if you want to get these a great price under 20 pounds 1996 and if you look at these my goodness me the options are just endless and they are so clever because you've got the steampunk wheels there and the cogs which are all different sizes you've got that fantastic background you're looking at there i mean it's just so interesting and so different like that one 
you know if you were to use some kind of crackle glaze with that or something you could get a really interesting background and then the one the end that always reminds me of kind of galactica um you know it reminds me of kind of a ufo of that kind of thing of space uh, but you might see something totally different in it um, if we just use a little bit of it it could actually be uh, where you put a coffee mug down and you just get the the ring of the bottom of the coffee mug so that's the thing with these stamps is that you can see whatever you want to see sorry with these stencils in those backgrounds i knew they weren't stamps um 924377 is your item number 1796 if you are in the freedom club and we've also got stamps on the show these are stamps and i love these i said this before that if you get this collection home I think you would just want to sit there and stamp, 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 stamp and stamp again because they are so interesting and they're such a great size and so many different variations and you could really play with these. I mean, you could just add bits of these, like that crackle one there, um, onto your card projects or you could just use them as an entire background. Love the round dots there. They're such great fun, um, but uh, a really fantastic selection there. 4404 if you are in the Freedom Club there. Three, four, 8854 if you would like to get hold of these stamps there is more as well from all and create on the website of course hochanda.com you can always shop by brand all you have to do is put in um, all and create and then you will be able to get hold of everything there but look at those five star reviews as well always great to see products with five star reviews and uh, you have got plenty there to be going for terrific prices some freedom prices special discounts and just a wonderful brand and as I say when you are buying from all and create the fantastic thing is that when you buy you know one stamp from one designer and one stamp from another designer somehow they work together and it, it's some kind of magic um, that is created I don't quite know how it's done but it is magic that all these designers come together as a collective and create pieces that can be worked together and uh, the options and the possibilities are just absolutely endless uh, they can be quite contemporary or they can be more detailed it's up to you whatever you want to create but with all and create you certainly can Thank you to Abs and his fantastic team. Thank you to this lady as well, Leonie, who is currently holding up Hochander, I believe. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I, I've never seen anybody uh, demonstrate as much as this girl in the last few days. Um, let, let's hope for all that she, <laughs> long will she reign and continue. It's our Kev stroke, Leonie. Thank you, Kev. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I think I think next week I think um, our Catherine takes up the reign. I think um, we're both yeah. I think so. I think Catherine's gonna be yeah. Got a few shows. Take up the reins, Kev. Come on. I love her. She put her coat on. She. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're 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 gonna go out and sort people out. <laughs> that sounds a bit yeah yes yeah, so careful. <laughs> Did you get a good shot, really? Sure. Uh, right. Okay. So what I'm going to do now? I've changed my mind as ever. There you go. See, see. Do that menacing look though that you did then. You put your thing on. <laughs> menacing. Ah, Kev. Menacing. So careful. <laughs> She'll be checking you. Are you walking your dog? Is <laughs> that the person you live with? Is that two meters? She'll be going around with your tape measure. <laughs> I know, I'm just joking. Now you have to make light of everything. Um, now, what am I doing? I've changed my mind. <laughs> I know, all right. Uh, I just want to, because I love that card on the black, I want to show how easy it were, but because I changed my mind, I haven't bothered getting the right ink pad out, but I'm sure this will be fine, she says, hopefully. No, no, me, me in it. I, kept, I was starting to prep for one thing and then went, oh, I actually really fancy doing this. But... I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, um, the one day special, brand new, from our beautiful Tracy. Over half of the stock has gone. This stamp is gorgeous. So I'm going to stamp on black, uh, which has got gloss on it. Don't, why do I set myself up to fail? Turn it over, kid. There you go. Okay. So, stamping on the uh, the black. Now, I am using my VersaFine Claire. I know that I've got my very unsweet spot in the centre of this, so I'll probably have to re-stamp. Hmm. Ah, uh, that doesn't help. Oh, look, folks. <laughs> look what runned my stamping block. Yep. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Set myself up to fail. Okay, so AR Trace has emailed and she says, No, we haven't worked together. 
we definitely need to sort that out. We definitely need to sort that out. I am going to stamp again, although that actually looks perfect. But I'm being, for some reason, I'm being seriously um, faffy. How much time have I got? Nine minutes. Okay, I can do two demos in nine minutes. Right, so there we go. And let's get some, oh, beautiful. Now that's nice and wet. It's all the ink wet. That ink's not wet. Right, I'll tell you why I'm being faffy. I'm embossing this. Because I'm embossing it, I do not want it to, um, I will need the ink to be wet. Okay. So, there we go. Right. I think, oh, for some reason, sod it, we don't need that. Oh, I mean, that's not a word I can use on telly, is it? I do apologise. I don't know if I can use that word on telly or not. If I can't use that word on telly, which I probably can't, then I'm very sorry indeed. It popped out. I must admit, these last few days, there's been quite a few words that have nearly popped out. Not going to lie, not quite sure, but these last few days I've been testing me. Um, so I do apologise for that. They haven't, oh, and it's worked after all that as well. <laughs> so I'm not even any need to um, to use that word that I'm definitely not meant to use. <laughs> How rude. How rude. It's not. It's still not as good as Paula and her old cat. Best ever. Absolutely best ever. That'll never be beaten, will it? Still makes me giggle every time. Okay, so look at this image. Now, this image straight away is fabulous, as usual. I didn't use my anti-static pad, so I've got bits of white everywhere. I'm not fussed about that. Um, because look at this image. I adore the, the scripts on it. I adore the, the kind of the collage look that it's got. I love the flower on this one. I love that it's such a big image. It's beautiful because it's easy to cut out. It looks amazing layered on things as well. So just embossing that. I love um, stamping in white embossing anyway. I think it looks fabulous. I used purple ink, but I didn't think it would make any difference. Um, but look, it looks interesting because where the, the white powder... Oh, technique. Let's pretend it's technique. So where the powder hasn't sat properly, you can see the purple underneath. So actually, that looks really effective. So that, I was meant to do that. <laughs> I'm lying. I weren't, but it sounds good. So I'll stick to that. So we've got some of the, um, some of the powder. Look, I like that though. I think that looks quite cool. So there we go. This is a beautiful thing about crafting. If you do summer and it's not 100% right, just say you like it. Because <laughs> as long as you stand by your convictions, is that the right word? Yeah, probably. But as long as you do, then no one can go, actually, it's rubbish because you can go, well, I like it. So then it actually doesn't matter what anybody else thinks anyway. Right, now, I've hidden my paper trimmer under here. Tracy wouldn't do this. I spent all day, when I were doing La Blanche, I spent all day going, La Blanche should have done 12 by now. And then with this one, with this one, I'll be like, Tracy won't be doing this. Tracy would be seriously organised. She'd have all the layers ready and um, she'd have a beautiful finished card to show you. <laughs> but that's the lovely thing about craft, isn't it? We're all so so um different and yet we all absolutely appreciate each other's work and i love that and we all definitely definitely look at things and go oh i love that i love what you've done with that now you've got that gorgeous image if all you wanted to do was take one you've cut out and pop it over the top already doesn't that look amazing and that's not even coloured in you could colour that in I mean I've done one I've stamped and embossed it in um, like a gold which again I think I'll give it a little bit of a shine for you because that's gold isn't that beautiful see just that just that I think is absolutely exquisite but what if you wanted to give it a little bit of colour so I've got some lovely paints and I thought oh this will look gorgeous on the black um, because these are beautiful iridescent paints. Mm, is iridescent the word I'm after? Um, I'm going to spritz first of all, like this. And I just thought on this black, these will look absolutely gorgeous. And what I do love about this stamp is look, these blocks. 
So you've got these blocks and I'm really loosely colouring these blocks in. I don't want to be really specific. I don't want to be perfect with these. I want it of a I want it loose, okay? So just colouring a few of those blocks in, in that beautiful um, blue. I'm then gonna take the green, like so. And I just thought, ooh, these colours will work so well with this. And I love this because my my um, the embossing powder will act as a resist. So that's gonna resist against these. Popping that on like that. I'm going over the flower because I'm uh, going to mat and lay the other flower over the top so that doesn't matter. Change colour again. And then go for, oh, decisions, decisions. We're going to go for this one at the bottom. Um, it is so, so, so busy. Please check your baskets out. Do not miss out on these. There are cues on the phones. Thank you ever so much. I know Tracy will be absolutely delighted. She always genuinely is. She's so pleased when um, when people love her designs because it is nerve wracking. You know, it's you put yourself out there. You don't know if people will love things as much as you do. And it is a bit scary. Um, and Trace is a lovely lady, so and she's very genuine, you know, in all the products she brings you. She wants them to, to be loved. So thank you ever so much. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do now, and you can see, can you see those colours? If I give it that little wobble, look at all those lovely colours. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do then, take your water and just splash it. Oh, it might be a bit more rougher with that. Yeah, let's get it mixing, shall we? There, so just getting some of those mixing proper, like that. Oh, that's better. There we go. So it's blending. Perfect. Okay, beautiful. Four minutes. Now, let's give this a blast. So, what you've got going on. You've got that lovely background. Now, you know how I said I didn't use anti-static pad? I actually, when it's things like this, I don't mind because I quite like the little white dots. I quite like, especially working over the top with something like this. I, I find it quite interesting. What I do want is those lines at the end, I want those blasted out. So all this, look at that. Oh man, I absolutely adore these. Look, look, look how it comes out the edge. See, so you use, <laughs> use the edge of the stamp. Look, so just get in that colour, coming in, like so. And again, the middle stamp, I'm going to be layering some over the top there. So that's going to be absolutely fabulous. Allowing those colours to blend. So it's making the most out of that stamp making the most out of those lovely blocks. I really like the blocks. I mean, this one, I want to paper piece this. I want to stamp it on lots of different coloured papers and then put, cut them out and paper piece them back in again to make that design up. So you've got all like a patchwork with this one because it has got such a patchwork look to it, hasn't it? But then you've got that main flower. Now I know I haven't got much time, so let's stop with that and then all I'll do is just lift off the the puddles with that obviously if you were doing this for real you'd actually um do it properly yeah letting it dry naturally but sometimes I mean that one I quite like the um the 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 forced dry I think that looks really nice but then bring the real flower back in again and just have a look now on that background because look at that met right i'm gonna have to pull because you're not seeing the colors as good as i am have a look at those colors hopefully you'll be able to see that's the one and making the most of those blocks can you see because you really really split that color which looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, what I would do with this is colour that in a really bright colour. I'd want that to be a really good uh, red or a really bright orange on top of those gorgeous sort of metallic colours. I think that would look absolutely phenomenal. And of course, bring in a lovely little word stamping because that's the rules. Um, now then, I will be back with you tomorrow morning um, at 9am. So I'm really hoping you can join me. I'm really hoping we've got some stamps left. 
because that's important over half has gone on the launch um i i kev i kev's waiting say see ya kev see ya Wait, kev. <laughs> I'm going to be here tomorrow at two to do it all again tomorrow night. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Thanks, Kev. Um, now, uh, yeah, what time is it? OK, you've got about five minutes. You've only got um, a few minutes left of this show, but um, please have a look at Tracy's Facebook. She's now going to do an amazing demonstration. I know it'll be amazing because it's Tracy and it's always amazing uh, so please make sure you tune in to facebook live uh, to see our tracer you'll love these stamps they're absolutely gorgeous but please check your baskets out because uh, it is exceptionally busy thank you ever so much for your company thank you tracer and abs for asking me to do it. it's been lovely um and yeah i will see you tomorrow i'm gonna go home and have my tea uh, stay safe everyone, enjoy Str Tracy's demo um, on Facebook Live and uh, see you bright and early-ish tomorrow morning. Night night everyone. <laughs>